station area. Woo. Civil Series. We've got Trenton on this one. No, you don't. We're talking fire slash jet symbol. Number seven. Yes. Jet symbol. The symbol. Nathan Happy. You're the man with the phone who's talked to Shane once in your whole entire life. Correct. And but you told me sweet, nasty things. Project, though, because... About symbols. There you go. Because, because I quiet. am here. Alrighty, so what does fire do? It upsets old men. It burns, John! <laughs> uh, speed and damage pump, stun, combo slash unblockable attacks, and the ever so generic removed from game pile. Pew, 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 pew! Okay, cool. One card! So we get to do some cool stuff. Uh, fire is predominantly now this overbearingly jet stuff. Kurt, there's yeah. some punch and judy. There's some mad Perot, because that's how you say his name, is Perot. It's not, not mad, Pierrot. Not Pierrot, not Mad P. Looking at you, USFU. UFSU. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm yeah, USFU. Yeah. USF yeah. <laughs> I'm going to say your name wrong yeah. a million <laughs> times. <laughs> Tam and company. There we go. See, really what I'm trying to do is try to start a street fight between us and them. Well, can it be a dance-off? No, not a dance-off. It's a street rap fight. battle. <laughs> yeah, rap five battle. Five on five UFS match? Yeah, there we go. Just walk up to him and be like, hey, man. Okay, whatever. Yeah. Once I story it up. See? Okay, we got this <laughs> shit. Okay, so... <laughs> this is gone off the rails. But it's Fantastic. awesome. This is what kind of like the fire symbol, The really. fire symbol is just... Okay, so we got a huge, like, fire at the start when I played wasn't as prevalent because that was, fire was all over the place before Red Horizon. It was tech and tech and tech and tech and other things, other things, which I never played with. I think some Shadow War, whatever. But it had one card in the Red Horizon set. It had a few cards in Red Horizon 2. It got more cards than KOF, but it has always predominantly been kind of like a a niche gimmicky symbol until we got Jet. Fuck that man. Fuck you, Jet. So but anywho, let's draw strengths and we can so We're talking about strengths. What do you want to say something, Trent? I love Jet. Okay, fuck you. <laughs> anywho, uh, we're talking about some strengths. Tommy Pays! A resident Frenchman. Pays A! It doesn't matter. I'm just going to call you Tommy Pays. Pisse? Pisse? I don't know. We no. wasted so much time on this episode. It's fantastic. No. What are some strengths? Give me, give me two strengths. Overwhelming damage. How so? So with uh, cards that just arbitrarily mill cards off the top of your deck for damage. Okay. Cards that like jet. Uh, cards that. Pick themselves up out of the discard pile like for punch damage. And, like Punch and Judy? Uh, characters that just mill stuff for Elena. random effects. Kung like Jin? Kung Jin. Elena? Goro? Goro? Shokan Elena's grab. Just, you play in a high attack count, a Shokan grab can yeah, auto Yeah, yeah, that's cool, man. Um, I would also say, like... It has not only overwhelming damage pump, it has a lot of like uh, plus twos, mm -hmm. like Redeemed Rogue is a big one. Nathan played yep. that tonight as a recording, and that pretty much won him one game. Uh, it really sealed the deal. Yeah, it, 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 sealed, it sealed the deal. It uh, said 34 life was secretly 40. Yeah, and then it also had extra damage on everything. Um, it, it does have some speed pump, but it's primarily known as a damage symbol, I would say, right? It, the two things it does best is damage and stun. It doesn't need a whole lot of speed, it just needs just enough so that true. you can't block it when you're tapping. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Um, so, like, that's another thing, too. We got, with, with the Jet cards, not to harp on Jet too much, um, we got every card of his, pretty, I think, had stun, right? Every card has? Um, I'm pretty sure there's one that. The rare test. Uh, hammerhead, hammerhead Assault. Okay, yeah. fine, sorry. Hammerhead Assault. One out of, like, ten doesn't have a <laughs> stun. But True. it really got, it really, like, stun was always a big thing. Like, Dave Wagner always played it in his decks, like, Shield Ram with um, Robot Master, stuff like that. Yeah. Um, stun's always been a really good, like, mechanic, but it got really good. It, put, it went, I'm putting 
all my chips on the table, kids, for and, that. And, and then really they decided to put a lot of damage on top of it. On top of that. Yeah, and there was no really real way to deal with it before Sense of Morals. So, there's, like, when Bebop just well, there came was, out well, there and was, all the stun that was in there, Bebop. There was uh, yeah, Celestial, Celestial Bean, Bean which it. is a fire card. Which is a fire card as well. And Invincible Iron Body. Invincible Iron Body, yeah. And then uh, Revoke always stopped it, too. And then, you know, there were some cards that say after they're committed ready them, but that was but the only once. That was only once, and it really didn't do too much. Because, right. yeah, when you're getting stun 5, stun 6, stun 12, and whatever. Whatever Coffee Samba, yeah, whatever Coffee Samba wants to be at that point. Also a fire card. Also, a, yeah, we're, you know, it's a fire card, yeah. So yeah it has a ridiculous amount of stun. Yep. It's so, fire. So yep. what we're saying is, is the strength of, fu uh, of fire is the Cowboy Bebop set. And for the most part, yes. Most of the characters or side cards that have those symbols do a lot for that. Yeah, symbol. it does. And you saw the um, before it we get into like reverses. before we get like into the weaknesses of the set um, of, of that symbol. You saw that after with Street Fighter versus Darkstalkers, instead of like instead of discarding, now fire is more removal. Uh, like Ken 2 removes so many cards. Lord Raptor does. Lord as well. Raptor does as well. Uh, a lot of their support messes with that discard, the discard mm -hmm. file into the remove from game file. Um, so Trent, or do you have something? I say as a slight little thing, uh, talking about Dave Wagner and his common shield ramp strats. Lovely well, hair, Dave. A lot Lovely of hair. Ranged. Yep. And Kumjin now did more ranged and combo, which, yep. funnily enough, is exactly what shield ramp was going for. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of a neat little thing. So Trent, as your first time, um, I almost said the Gao Tree. Uh, that's my other show. Watch been on it. that one. Uh, he's been on that one too. Yeah. Because it's not all about the miles. It's, it's about, about the smiles. smiles. Yeah. Um, what would you say is one of Fire's glaring weaknesses? So uh, as somebody has been playing Fire for the past few months with my Takeda deck, um, card draw is definitely a big issue. With fire. That was the number one thing I was going to say too. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, Basically, I, yeah. that's what you almost, unless you're playing Jet or Kunjin. Kunjin. His you're entire own, suite is full card. Yeah. 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 You're pretty much pigeonholed into a seven handed. Yeah. A, a lot. I know like uh, mm -hmm. a lot of the Mad Perot decks, uh, Keenan's was fire to begin with. Then it changed over to evil. Um, or it would off symbol some evil cards. Uh, the Kunjin draws himself some extra cards through his F or through his other cards. And let's just be honest, everyone who plays Coffee Samba for the draw two, draw two, stun your ass out. Mm -hmm. So that's extra, like, built. You have to find ways to draw cards, and that's a big deal. Yeah, so Fire doesn't really yeah. draw cards. Um, I would say it's really reliant on its actual attacks for living. Um, it's, it's offense first, defense last. Like, a defense is its offense. It's, a, it's an oppression system. It, yeah, it, it, it needs to oppress you faster than it can do, because it can't defend itself all that well. It has Punch and Judy's, it has some Redeemed Rogues, it has, uh, what's the other? Shaolin Fighter. Shaolin Fighter, Shaolin Fighter. for some damage reduction. Um, it has a, a couple other damage reduction cards, but um, it really just needs to just, it's like, it's a speed symbol, Yeah. if you want to say. It. It's like, it wants to go, as Aaron put it, I want to go fast. Yep. So, that's what it wants to do. If you can terrify your opponent to the point that they don't attack you, well, yeah, you just leave because they're going to be saving their good blocks, which are normally on your attacks for blocking, because all your stuff's coming in at crazy, crazy speed. So, um, got the strengths, got the weaknesses. Made them happy. Yes, sir. Give us a couple. Give us two examples. So, of I'm, fire cards. I'm going to use one jet card, which is foundation, one attack card, which is amazing. The jet foundation, I like is folktale storyteller, mm -hmm. because in my Metal Man <coughs> Wheel deck, it was a meme off symbol card that built itself. And then now in my Elena deck, Elena misses timing using White House. However, with a combination of fighting for Wily, direct hit, and that folktale storyteller, I was able to use it to draw extra cards anyway. I thought that was hilarious. Cool. But he does the milling that Fire is ever so fond of. Mm -hmm. Very true. The other card is Dark Chirato. That card solves the biggest problem I had in Fire was, well, I'm sitting here and Redeemed Rogue is removing all of my damage, or Last of His Kind is removing all of my damage, so I just play this it. one nice range attack that says, you can't. Like, Dark Chirato is good in all its symbols. Yeah. Yep. It, it is good on all its symbols, but I feel lie. like it's more helpful in Fire, it's because other symbols... All three. It's amazing, that card's stupid and busted. Oh, and the well, it has jet symbols, symbols. But it's it, has all, it, has it, it has every it has every jet symbol. Oh, symbols kill us now. There's a jet card that's not a jet, it's not a jet card. card. You can't pump it. 
Tally Pays! Give us two cards! I just like yelling. I can tell. I see that. And you complain about the band card players. <laughs> well, it's on our video, though. It's not That's that. fair. Um, I'm going to be lame and talk about Coffee Samba. Because that okay, card cool. I'm has. Going next. It's time card. That card has Death 2. Uh, well, it's which, Ross. Which, which is an evil thing, but yeah. Right, but. When you're getting your face pounded, oh, because and you, you're, can, and you can, start. yeah, and you yeah. can just spit out as much damage as you yeah. want, yeah. stun out their entire yeah. board, draw more attacks. Yeah. I was playing it in Goro tonight, yeah. and uh, turning into a six-hander with forty health is great. Yeah, I would, uh, I would yeah. especially with plus four damage on it. Mm -hmm. it's dope. Oh yeah, I know. So, uh, I hate it so much. <laughs> and then uh, my actual favorite jet card is Bonsai Enthusiast. Because it's actually the only jet card that doesn't say non multiple on it, so you can actually pump up pump your multiples if you yeah. have them. Mm -hmm. You can That's uh, on pump up too. all your yeah. stun, breaker, yeah. yep. everything yep. else, and it has card draw on it. Yeah, something that, something that you, something that you need. need. Yeah, and it, I believe it's, it has to have a rating of one or higher, or is it two or higher? Two or, two or, two, two two or, or more. Yeah. All right, Trent, if you take my card, I'm going to be really mad. I'm going to throw my water bottle at Marco. <laughs> I'm not gonna take just your... like a Leona deck. <laughs> yep. Woo! I'm not gonna take your go card ahead. because yeah. I know what found. I know what card you know what I'm talking about. Okay, cool. Go ahead. So I'm gonna go two non-jet cards. Ooh, neat! For our... Wow, throwing a curveball. Excuse me. Ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys know I've been playing the same deck for the past few months in combos. Rightfully so. It's great. Yeah. 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 Is it does cool, good man. stuff. Yeah. So you know, building on that fire combo thing, you know, you have to talk about whip assault. Yeah, the card has three enhances it does, on it. It does some damage. It does. It has a damage bump. Yep, 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 yep. Makes your opponent discard a momento. Yep, that it did, makes you discard a card for a momento. Uh, yeah, sure. yeah, they discard a card from the hand for a momento. Yep, that's a void thing, but we'll take it. On, we'll take it because it gives us hand advantage over our opponent, which fire needs. Yep. But instead of drawing, you just have more. Cards. Yep. And yes. the, the foundation I want to talk about. Yeah. Is not over until you die. Okay. Cool. You can stack Talk about attack. It. Stack any attack card you want on top of your deck. So mm -hmm. you can mill it with Takeda, you yep. can mill it with Ken. Yep. You can do. I, tr I put it in Kung Jin so I could stack a, an attack on top so I can either draw it next turn or draw it with Copy Samba. It's or, pretty funny. Or you just eat it up and then form draw two cards. Yeah, you could also do that too. Yeah. Yep. yep. So, I think not over until you die is what really. That five high block sucks that, though. That five high it's block really good in Elena, though. It's hilarious in Kung Jin. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so, yeah. so stacking it for like Elena or yep. even to get extra speed, yep. you pick something with a low block yep. to get extra speed. Very true. Yeah. yeah, you could, you could stack. Yeah, there's a lot of utility. And then it also has that first step where if you have two cards in your room from game file. Yep, which fire usually does. Drop or you just mull again and somehow yep. that works. Oh, that works too. Yeah. So. so, thank you for leaving Missile Launcher for me because right now that is the best attack in standard as of recording. Because this may, no, this comes out in two weeks, so yeah, Soul Calibur won't be out yet. But it's still going to be better than every attack in Soul Calibur. Uh, that card gives speed or damage. It also mills cards on the top of your deck. It also has deadlock E your opponent loses. It has an instant <laughs> win button if your opponent's in deadlock. It has powerful <laughs> EX and stun. It has a block. It only checks a two, which is amazing. Oh yeah, and it's a jet card. And there it's a go. picture of jet on it. Yep. That's ten things about that card that we all should love, but we don't. So that card has single-handedly changed the way I think the game has been played. That card alone. I would say that and Coffee Samba. Both of those. Just the way how, how oppressive they can be on turn two. Which, I'm not trying to turn this into a negative Nancy thing. I think it's kind of cool when you're doing it, but what's happening to you fucking sucks. What are you going to add? Those cards can single-handedly make it so you just go, well, I could take a second build turn, or I can get very far ahead in this game if this passes. Yes. Well, what you can do is you just play it on a five and pass it. You blow them for, you blow them out for like 15 damage, and then you build some more. And yeah. then it doesn't and matter. The old uh, Chris Smith poke and build. The poke and build. And Except for that poke, scorpion. it's more like yeah. an iron yeah. fist to the face. Um, and then the other card's kind of a twofer. It's called Punch and Judy. Um, they, 
give speed, they give damage. You they did not pull out the card, I thought you were. No, they give negative speed. I'm not going to talk about overly dramatic because I didn't do anything that the symbol wants. Uh, and then it gives damage negation and speed negation. And it just tutors itself out for a random plus one high or plus one low block. That card was That's, hilarious in draft. That card's like a fire card. It, it's just like it's pretty. Like you see it in some like plant man builds, like Trent has. I don't think I've ever seen it in a order build because order doesn't build that much uh, as a now. That incredible uh, two punch one Judy order as oh, a oh, in, right. draft. in draft. I remember that. Oh, it was beautiful. Yes. But uh, yeah, I don't know. Fire's come a long way. I think it's 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 up there. It's not as good as Earth or Evil right now. It's I would not. like to have a nice honorable mention of uh, Not Over Yet being a fantastic card for Fire until Punch and Judy did everything better. Yes, um, that's But true. it still oh, Cats. does some pretty cool stuff. Cats is, Cats is something we probably should talk about. Uh, Alluria Phobia or Cats. Fear of Felicia. Fear of Felicia. Uh, it's a Mad Pearl card. It basically says your opponent dies if you punch and Judy it like twice. Or three times, or all, or all of it, whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, that's primarily the way they win their games, the Punch and Judy, punch and Judy decks, so, yeah. But anywho, uh, anybody have anything they want to add before we end the episode? So probably like at 17 minutes. I have an honorable mention oh, the shirt of too, Out of Your right? League. What? I have an honorable mention of Out of Your League. Out of Your League? As being, as being some of the few things that can actually cancel responses in sure. this game. Yep. And Like overly um, dramatic? Yeah, Ooh. like uh, when you go punch in Judy, and then somebody goes overly dramatic, and you just go, "I'll lose four life to still kill it's you." Three. Is it three? It's three. Yeah. It's three. Yeah, it's that's three. so much better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll lose. I'll lose three life to still kill you. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, unless you're at three, and then you lose. Yeah. Yeah. Then you're. Then you're. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but then your opponent didn't win. Yeah. Then your opponent, <laughs> your opponent didn't win. win. And you lost. You copped out. But yeah. So uh, I think that's it. I don't know. Have we covered everything pretty much? We got the strengths. We got the weaknesses. We got, we got some cards. We got Tyler's cool shirt that has the Rockford CCG the symbol on it. It's hot like fire. fire. Oh my Do god. Do a little turnaround. And... Got, got your name and numbers oh on god. the back. <laughs> yeah, you guys are crazy. But anywho, so I want to have the pants with the trick Thanks for Trent coming out. You know, Normal crew, we appreciate. Don't hate. Appreciate. We love you guys. Like, comment, subscribe. And Turn on Patreon. It's Stay not about the miles. It's, it's about, about the smiles. smiles. Bye. Peace out.